it so so one thing I want to go over today I want to start out this guide is what I call what what is called jungle monster kiting and what it is essentially if you're new to the jungle if you notice a lot of times in lower elo if you notice so I'm gonna show an example here if you if I sit here and attack the minion I'm gonna take a ton of damage right if I just stand here kind of move around not really care and kind of just hit a move right you'll see a lot of times lower elo they will just do this they won't move they won't auto I mean they'll auto but they won't really move around they won't stain they'll have to maybe chuck a health potion like I just did and now they'll have to run away because they're getting really low um, so that was the first example so the next example is I want to show you why you should kite jungle monsters and the import to do it so we're actually gonna reset our health and mana here and we're gonna turn that off since we're in practice mode um, so one of the main reasons why you want to kite a jungle monsters is watch this so what I'm going to do is I'm going to auto take a step back auto take a step back and what this is doing is essentially you can see I'm already taking way less damage than I was before just standing there and what this is doing is I'm kiting the jungle monster around the camp and what this essentially is doing is I'm saving myself health but I'm also getting health back on every auto but I'm also it's saving me like 0.5 seconds of in between time that the jungle monster can't reach me and so why you kite jungle monsters around is if you notice look how much less damage I took now that was probably a horrible example of kiting it around but this is just something you can practice on your own maybe in practice mode or if you're new to jungling um, this will help you sustain way better in the jungle um, you'll have more auto based uh, junglers like who's a really famous one Leeson where you'll take a step back auto take a step back and what this is doing is you're just saving you're just saving health over time essentially so this is helping you sustain in the jungle and you can actually do this with every single jungle camp other than the frog over here or gromp or whatever his name is um, so let's I'm gonna do another example over here so we're actually gonna start on the wolves so what's happening here is when I bring the jungle camp around back over here you see over here that the back of the the little ones have to path around the big one and so now when I'm actually kiting it around only two or them out of the three can attack me at once so the big one look at the big one didn't even get auto shots on me so it's just a it's just a good way to help yourself sustain in the jungle without all with also taking less damage it's kind of hard to explain <laughs> um, and you, you just gotta practice it on your own um, so this is just a tutorial I just wanted to bring to you guys um, in just kiting jungle camps and why you should and so see how much health I just gained back from those two autos but I'm actually doing a horrible job of it we're actually gonna use our smite too we saved it so but anyways I just wanted to show just a quick tip on jungle kiting and why you should jungle kite uh, it's a very useful tip a lot of most of the pros you always see in pro games they'll always be kiting jungle camps around and uh, it can get kind of confusing at first, but you'll get the hang of it once you start playing and learning how to click and and uh, move your champion around. But I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and um, I'm hoping to make more in the future. And I I, I definitely want to help out new players because um, I just I enjoy helping people, and I, I think it's fun for new players to learn the game. And and uh, league it takes a lot a lot of a lot of a lot of practice. Uh, you don't just pick this game up overnight. It's not something you just sit down and play, and you're just going to be really good at it. Um, I've been playing for five years, and I still suck. So <laughs> uh, I've only ever reached Diamond 3. I've never gone beyond Diamond 3. But, um, you know, there's something new I'm learning every day from the game, and, and you have to keep out on patch notes and whatnot, and the game can get very confusing. So, but anyways, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed the video, please uh, like and subscribe to the All Things Nerd channel. And I'll see you later.